from their work being uh, played by other industries without them earning any money from it. So you can see that copyright was designed hundreds of years ago for a specific time when um, this is, you know, <laughs> vastly pre-digital days. This is, you know, this, you did have printing presses, obviously. But um, you can see that in the digital era, copyright, as it was originally meant to be, the reason for the protection, can't really bump it anymore. They don't really fit anymore with uh, the way the world's moving. Now, it's still important that artists and creators are protected so that uh, commercial entities don't just grab and steal and use their own estate. That's actually happened a lot. Uh, one thing I will say is you, all of you will probably experience at some point in your life, you or a friend of yours pitching an idea and they go, oh, I can't do it, just get me off on that. Happens to us people. It's just the way it is. Luckily, it happens less and less so because you are able to publish your work and protect it using Creative Commons before you actually go into these commercial situations. So, this is giving more power to you as creatives for um, basically yeah, publicly stating what you do and do not want to be done with your work. And as I said to people, if you don't want your work to be copied or, or you know, ripped off or used in any way, don't put it on the internet. <coughs> and you can't prevent these other people putting it on the internet. So really, all you can do is take control of your um, of your Creative Commons licensing and uh, yeah, make it very clear to people what you're happy with. So the thing is that the, the thing is wrong about copyright is that there's, there's also a vast amount of work that is not under copyright anymore because of the fact that the work was produced um, earlier than the, the copyright terms, because copyright terms eventually run out. And there have been quite a few attempts recently by artists to extend copyright. People like Cliff Richards. And it's like, look, if you haven't made enough from your music by now, Cliff, then get another job. So it's usually the really old school guys who are trying really hard to protect the copyright. Now, you know, whether that's, that's, that's a good or a bad thing, the fact is that, that there is a need for such a thing as public domain art and, and content that is owned by all of us, that we can all freely access and read books that we can read without having to pay for them, art that we can look at without having to pay for it. It's vastly important that there is still this vast amount of common, common owned work in the public domain for people to consume that aren't protected and aren't uh, under some sort of license and aren't commercialised. So this what happened with the copyright industry. The unfortunate outcome of the, the, the current situation is that independent artists have very, very little opportunity to get their work into mainstream media. For example, a few years ago there was a Discovery TV, uh, reality TV show that came through. It was a, a, a travel show where they had five PJs who did this competition and they won the chance to dance on a travel show, go run and then they gave five reports of what they did about each of the places. They started off in Asia, then they went to Australia, <coughs> and then they went back to Asia, and then went back to America. So we, we were uh, doing work at Twitter at the time, so we, they asked us if we'd help them. And they wanted to build in Auckland, in a club, with the New Zealand dance music playing in the background, um, so that they could get a kind of you know, music session. So we were like, the release form for you. Because the contract we have with our artists is that we, they find us the right to use their work for promotional purposes in any way that we can fit. So they find over the right to use this promote for them. So basically all I have to do as MD of our label is to you know, sign the release form. Now this Discovery TV show who works with Bloomberg Associates, you know, they're, they're pretty much at the top of their century. So the show went out, it was called Five Takes, it went out all over the world apart from New Zealand. Um, yes, millions and millions of people saw it. They, but they, but they actually told me how hard it was for them to get music that wasn't Britain Spears or, you know, the usual suspects that, that they knew that their company had paid for clearance for. What ended up happening is it was so difficult to find out who was 
bright colours and tracking them down in colours, but what happened was they just used the same old crap all the time. And they didn't have any opportunity to get into music then. So they just loved us because I was like, great, have the museum of music. They did go, you're not going to get to push it out over the planet. And our artists have their music playing all over the world. This is how it should be. So what you have is the ability now through Creative Commons to very clearly express what you want to do. Now this is the new life that seems to have been around for 